I don't mind, but why are we going? You'll know when you get there. So this is the Grand Pier. I suppose it's a fine mechanical bridge pier, but it sure looks skinny and unstable stretched out above this huge pit. There are so many people gathered around here. Obviously. I mean, Uncle Hobo's squad just got back. It's their triumphant return. Uncle Hobo? The man who lives with Auntie. Ah, from the spice shop. He must be Laffy's husband. Hobo and his team went all the way to the inverted forest. I'm going to ask him just how upside down it really is. Oh, it's Uncle Hobo! Uncle Hobo! Oh, Rico! I just got back. Hey, Uncle Hobo! Did you bring any amazing relics back? I sure did. Though it's not really a relic. Rico, it has something to do with you. Huh? With me? Yes. Look at this. Uh, white whistle? This is... It is. A white whistle of the Sovereign of Annihilation. What? It's Liza's. Liza the Annihilator's white whistle. Liza? That's... Yes. My mom's name. After ten years, Liza's soul, her white whistle, came up to the city of Orth. Mom's white whistle. Is it... really okay for me to keep this? Yes, of course. Even if I'm just a red whistle? That's all right. Unlike other whistles, white whistles can only be used by their original owners. Not only does each white whistle have its own unique design, they're all made out of relics. And thanks to the hidden insignia each of them possess, it's impossible to counterfeit. Um, that's not really what I meant. Isn't there someone more worthy of it than me? Like a former member of my mother's squad or something. Don't be shy. It's customary for a relative to be the one to receive a white whistle like this. Everyone's fine with the tradition. If that's too heavy a responsibility to bear, you can always trust it to the guild. <sighs> Rico? I... I'll take it. Ah, that's a good decision. Besides that, Liza was also carrying a sealed envelope. A sealed envelope? Yes. We received both it and that white whistle from a sentry at a monitoring base called Seeker Camp. Since the envelope belonged to a white whistle, it's currently being closely examined, but you should be able to see it soon, Rico. A sealed envelope from my mom. Are you saying it's a letter? <laughs> I see. I suppose it is. It's surely a letter addressed to you, Rico. See you later. I'll contact you when you're able to see the sealed envelope. Mom. There you are, Rico. Leader is looking for you. Uh, Rig. Are you okay? You look a little down. Oh. oh, well, I was thinking about my mom a little. Hey, remember when I said I admire my mom? I was two years old when my mom went on her last dive. Last dive? When a white whistle goes down to the sixth layer, if they do, they can never come back. Wow. So, that's why I barely remember anything about her. Is there anyone around that knew Liza well? I heard that Leader was Mom's apprentice. Leader? 
If so, that's perfect. Why don't you take this opportunity to ask about Liza, since he's looking for you? Yeah, let's do it. There you are, Rico. Hey, leader? What is it? What kind of person was my mother? Despite being one of the White Whistles I admire so much, I can't even remember her face. I'm not exactly sad. But I feel like someone I aspired to be just suddenly disappeared. As a cave raider, she was every bit the legendary White Whistle people say she was. That said, I hardly even got the chance to go cave raiding with her. I only really know Liza as she was on the surface. Arrogant and mischievous. She was a heavy drinker and quick to get in fights. She would take her pranks too far and you could never tell how honest she was being. On top of that, she had a horribly unbalanced diet. If she wasn't a White Whistle, she would have just been another weirdo. <sighs> Sounds like an irredeemable person. Yeah, that is exactly right. Really, she was a total mess. <sighs> it's been 12 years already. No, it was a bit longer than that, actually. Liza had just become pregnant with you. But despite her physical state, she had to go down to the fourth layer with the survey team. It was a special mission ordered by the country's powers that be. As a white whistle, she had no choice. She was to retrieve the unheard bell, a special grade relic that had been discovered in the depths. Her team's cave raiding proved arduous. It went on for 10 months. They had repeated run-ins with foreign cave raiders. The survey team was nearly wiped out. It was at this time your father, a black whistle named Torka, lost his life. And in the midst of it all, you were born. Huh? Then Rico was born inside the abyss? Yeah. You were born in the depths of the abyss. What? How was I able to come back up from such a deep place? You can thank the curse-repelling vessel that Liza took along with her for that. But to bring you back with the vessel, Liza gave up on the unheard bell. Now... Don't make the mistake of thinking she was only doing what any mother would do. You see, special grade relics can change the balance between countries. Retrieving even one will enrich the city and ensure a squad's future. She was faced with having to make an incredibly difficult decision. And yet, Liza chose you. Prestige and riches, her comrades and their trust. You were so important to her that she was willing to give up all of that. Mom. But now, in the face of the pressure of having a mother of such stature, you're trying to choose your own path. And thus, the one she risked her life to protect is still going strong to this day. Uh, leader, I'm gonna do my best! Chasing after Ma- After Liza, the White Whistle! <sighs> I received a message from the Cave Raider headquarters. They've given you permission to go view the contents of the envelope from Liza. Go report. Cave Raider Headquarters! Got it! Reg, go with her. She's unreliable, so watch her for me. Roger.
Where is the Cave Raider headquarters located? I am curious about what is written in Liza's envelope. I've been waiting for you. Now, I'll open the sealed envelope from Liza the Annihilator. I will accompany you, but please, do not touch anything. What is all this? Mother went down there ten years ago. Yet, none of these are in the field guide. I've never even seen any of them before. This is... That looks like me. Yeah, but some parts are different here and there. Human-like silhouette. Identity unknown. I encountered it while approaching the seventh layer. For a little while now, it has been intently observing me. Damn idiot. I'm watching you too, you know. It's about the size of a human child, and looks to be dressed in rags. Its limbs and head seem too large for its body. Some kind of armor, perhaps? It didn't give off the impression of being a hollow. However, when I tried calling to it, it ran away. It went up, jumping with a strength that astonished me. To leap so effortlessly at this depth, Maybe it's not human? More importantly, where did it come from? <sighs> Rig. Rico, beside it there's a piece of paper with only writing on it. It seems kind of short for a letter. Hmm. Let's see here. At the Netherworld's... At the Netherworld's bottom... I'll be waiting. So what made you steal this... note that says... At the Netherworld's bottom, I'll be waiting. Well, cause my mother wrote that letter to me! So it's mine! Well then, what are you planning to do, Rico? I'll head for the bottom of the abyss, where my mom is waiting. Hey now, are you serious? Yes. That's why I want your help. I'm against it. The bottom of the abyss? You talk about it like it's no big deal. But if you go there, you'll never be able to come back. What's this all of a sudden? I've always wanted to be a white whistle. Of course I'm prepared for that! No, you don't get it, Rico. You'll never be able to see any of us up here ever again, you know? That's right. You won't be able to hang out at Auntie's, have Leader teach you stuff, or play with any of us here again. That's right! Like I said... <laughs> like I said... I know that, okay? <sighs> hey, Nat. Looks like Rico has already made her decision. Pushing her would just hurt her. Mm. Fine. Whatever. But Rico, are you taking Reg with you? You're probably thinking it will be okay because you got Reg, huh? I didn't ask him to come with me at all. What? I... Would it be wrong to hug Greg all to myself? Besides, it's really dangerous for him to go when he still doesn't have his memories. Then, you were planning to leave Reg here? I don't know. Ah, oh, jeez. Hurry up and go see how he feels about it. <laughs>
Does that mean I really am a robot? In that case, that humanoid silhouette from the letter was me before I lost my memory? Why was I created? Shiggy mentioned something about an obod. So am I just a relic then? I want to know. I want to know what I really am. I really enjoy living here, and it'd be hard to leave everyone behind. But... I want to confirm what I am. Really? Is that how you really feel? Yes. There is only one lead. The answer lies at the bottom of the netherworld. That is it. Just maybe the reason I was created, even the reason I came to Orth. All of that could be answered if I can get to the bottom of the abyss. That's what... I believe. That's why I want to aim for the bottom of the abyss. That's why I'll follow you, even if you turn me down. I wouldn't do that. Even though I want to see my mother, I couldn't bring myself to ask you. I already knew how you felt. I'll protect you all the way to the bottom of the netherworld. <laughs> Thank you! Let's go together! Of course. I think we are set. Look, Rico, sorry to burst your bubble, but let me still say this. Are you really going to go see your mother? Yes, I am. Mom said she's waiting at the bottom of the netherworld. Do you really think anyone could live somewhere like that for ten years? L Let her... Think about it. Why did her whistle make its way up here? Your mom died a long time ago. That's not true. It could be. Even if what you say is true, I'm still going. I must confirm it with my own eyes. That's what a cave raider does. Oh. Yeah, you're right. You have to see it with your own eyes. <laughs> Fine! I don't care anymore! Just do whatever you guys want to do! Mad. I was gonna do everything I could to stop you if you went by yourself, but... Reg, take care of Rico. Yes. Roger. Well then, when are you thinking of setting off? I'm gonna wait for daybreak, and then dive into the abyss! In that case, going down from the wharf quarter in the slums might be good. You should guide them, Nat. Why me? Well, you know a lot about the wharf quarter. <sighs> Fine, I will guide you guys. There's a perfect place to go down to the abyss. I'll show you. <laughs> again welcome thank you
back again. Welcome. Thank you. Come back again. So, this is where we go down from. Looks like it'll be fine if you stretch your arm, Reg. Hey, Rico, are you ready to go? <sighs> of course I'm ready! Got it. In that case, I'll get ready to go down the abyss. Do you have a planned route through the abyss? Currently, I'm thinking our goal is Seeker Camp, near the end of the second layer. I'm planning to ask the sentry there where they found Mom's sealed envelope. Then you're aiming for the second layer, the Forest of Temptation. If a red whistle descends that far, no help will be sent after them. Both heading there and returning home becomes very difficult. It's treated as a suicide. Hey, isn't there other stuff we need to talk about? Matt? Uh, Riku... You know, I... <laughs> Damn it! Matt, don't cry. It's alright. Even if we ever get to see each other again, we'll be connected by the Abyss! Be it on the surface, we're in the far reaches of the Cursed Netherworld. We're connected by the Abyss! I'll never forget about the time I spent up here. Ever. So it'll be okay! <laughs> what now? There you go again. Yes, there she goes again. That's right! I am at it again! Be careful, alright? And it's fine if you decide to head right on back here. I'm counting on you to take care of Riku. Roger. You guys take care. Thanks, you two. Well then, here we go!
Yeah. Let's do it, Rico. Yeah! I'm on it. Hey, Rico. Are you ready to go? Oh. Of course I'm ready! Are you ready to... So? Are you ready to go? Of course I'm ready! What do we do? Do we fight it here? I just sensed something. What do we do? Do we fight it here? Do it, Rico. Yeah. What do we do? Do we fight it here? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Let's do it, Rico. Yeah. What do we do? Do we fight it here?
Hey, Rico, are you ready to go? Of course I'm ready! I just sensed...
Hey, Rico. What happened, Rico? Whoa. That's way brighter here than up on the surface, huh? Amazing! <gasps> Over there! The rock arc! Located at a depth of 600 meters! It's so far above us! So, due to the distortion in the force field, we can't see the surface, huh? Hmm? That boundary looks awfully bright. Is that distortion carrying the light downward? How terrific, Reg! At this pace, we can make it to the bottom of the netherworld! Of course, we can't let our guard down, you know. We might even make it to the second layer before anyone comes after us! W well, that's good to hear. Are you ready to go? Of course I'm ready! What do we do? Do we fight it here? I'll try that thing away.
Yeah. Let's do it, Rico. Yeah. I just sensed something. Hey, Rico, are you ready to go? Of course I'm ready! I just sensed something. Are you ready to go? Of what do we do? Like do we fight it here? I'm on. Hey, Rico. Are you ready to go? Of course I'm ready! I'm on. <laughs> hey Rico, are you ready to go?
just sensed something. That's right. I forgot all about this. What is it, Reg? I just remembered finding this in my back pocket. What's this? An envelope? Well, go ahead and take a look inside. Oh! This... this is... my mother's sealed letter! Reg, did you steal this? Nope. Take a closer look. The pages we saw last time were tattered. So this is probably just a copy, right? You're right. Huh. But why? I didn't have the opportunity to bring it up, but before we left the orphanage... Reg, where are you going? To... to the bathroom. What are you doing up in the middle of the night yourself, leader? I'm on patrol, you fool. I do this every night after you all fall asleep. Speaking of which, any idea where Rico is? She doesn't seem to be in her room. Rico... went to take a dump. In the middle of the night? She has the runs. She's scavenging for food again? Jeez, that girl. <sighs> You're on your way to the bathroom too, right? Stay with her and make sure she's okay. Roger. That's what happened. Why a dump? At the time, I thought I really had him fooled. But then I found that thing in my back pocket. And I think he's pretty much the only one who could have done it. Leader, I wonder if he's cheering us on. Hmm? I think that might be it, but it doesn't seem right. Hmm? One page is a different size than the others. <gasps> what happened, Rico? I'll depart at dawn to capture you. Wow. Did Leader write that? There are pursuers coming for us already! Pursuers? Yes, there's no doubt! In that case, we're in trouble. Hurry, we got I'm on it. Are you ready? Of course. Besides, if we make it to the second layer, no one will come after us. At least that's what Shiggy said. But why would Leader warn us in the first place? <laughs> he must be testing us. This is like our final exam, you know? The point is that if we get caught now, then we're not cut out to make it to the bottom of the netherworld! I see. Roger. Let's go! Our goal is the second layer! Yeah. Let's do it, Rico. Yeah! Hey Rico, are you ready to go?
What is that sticky thing, Rico? Right behind you. It's a silk thing. What do we do? Do we fight it here? No, I have a plan. Run to that edge. Yeah, let's do it, Rico. Yeah. Rico, we're here. Wrap your arms around the silk thing. Good job! Silk thanks can't leave their territory. It'll act as an anchor. What an irredeemable plan. Yeah, we got through. Let's keep on moving, Reg! <sighs> Rico, are you okay? <sighs> yeah, I'm okay. I'm just fine. She's not used to this, so I bet it's draining her stamina. It's her first time this deep, and we're on an unmarked path. What is it, Reg? Uh, it's nothing. Seems our pursuers still haven't caught up with us yet. We've strayed away from the usual route, so even if they come after us, they won't find us that easily. Besides, the search party is moving groups of at least three people, so we should see them coming. In that case, Rico, let's take a little break. What? But... I doubt they can catch up to us that fast. And plus, I need to pee anyway. Ah, well then, I will too. Hey, Rico. I was thinking about the delusion you had about the meaning of the letter. You mean about this being our final exam? It's no delusion! Yeah, I think you might be right. Just maybe he was able to see through us and uncover our nightly plotting. He may even know the fact that I'm a robot. Ugh. On top of that, if he took the trouble to place that envelope in my pocket, then we need to make a clean escape and show him we're up to the task. Yep. Oh. I just sensed something. What's the matter, Reg? They're right above us. When did they catch up to us? It's just one person. Can we slip away somehow? <laughs> I'd expect nothing less from Liza's daughter. I see you're quite fast. Rico, how about that? I'm not so shabby myself, now am I? Uncle Hobbo? But why? Black Whistle Hebulk. He's this skilled and not even a white whistle? What should I do? I could let Rico escape alone first. That being said, Reg. Well, I never suspected it. That you were a supreme treasure of the Netherworld, I mean. Hey, let's take a good look. No, let me feel you. Oh? Huh? Is even your skin a relic? Can't tell just by looking now, can you? <laughs> um, Uncle Hoppo? <laughs> Sorry, my bad. I still haven't told you what I'm here about. See, I didn't actually come to capture you two. Please! We're not asking you to take them all the way to Seeker Camp. Just help them escape to the second layer. Besides, this is your last chance to see the true form. 
of a supreme treasure of the netherworld. Even white whistles are unlikely to find one of those. Reg is really fast. But with your speed, I'm sure you can catch up to them, Uncle Habu. Okay, I'm going. So, you see, I came to pay my respects to this supreme treasure of the netherworld. <laughs> and she said that? I wish paying your respects was the only thing you did. <laughs> by the way, the search party was looking for you by the Twisted Crag. They should take a while still, eh? Thank goodness. Well then, I've had a look at the treasure of the Netherworld, so I better fulfill my promise to those boys. I'm coming along with you to the Seeker Camp. Really? You bet. It'll be reassuring to have a black whistle with us, right, Rico? Uh, Uncle Hobo? Uh, um... Oh? What is it? I'm sorry. I can't allow that! Eh? You've got to be kidding! Oh, I see. A final exam, huh? Pretty clever of him, really. Well, if that's the case, there's nothing I can do, is there? But he really should have come himself to see you off one last time. Ah, but that wouldn't work, because he'd catch you right away then, huh? <laughs> I'm sorry, Uncle Hobbo. I mean, you came all this way and everything. Don't worry about it. But... Since I won't be accompanying you any farther, I should tell you this now. This is very important. It's about that Seeker camp you're headed for. The Guardian there is a bit of a strange one. You mean the person who found my mom's sealed envelope? Yes. The unmovable sovereign, Ozen the Immovable. A white whistle who's still active. Rico. After you were born in the depths of the Abyss, she's the one who carried you within the curse-repelling vessel. She brought you to the surface along with Liza. The White Whistle, and the very one who saved my life? Wow! But Habog, that doesn't seem like anything to be too worried about. <clears throat> Please be wary of White Whistle Ozen. Can't get into the details personally, but you might encounter distressing things at Seeker Camp. Rico, please be prepared. I'll be fine. Plus, I'd like to meet a White Whistle. I want to ask her about my mom, too. You're right. You'll be fine. You have an encouraging partner with you, after all. Reg, take care of Rico. Roger. Just leave it to me. Well, then we're heading out. Uncle Hobbo. All right, off you go. Don't dawdle, otherwise I'll become a white whistle and catch up to you, you know. Okay, please give our best to Auntie. In the end, we're just the Netherworld's lost children. Sooner or later, I knew this day would come. Take care, Rico. Hey Rico, are you ready to go? Of course I'm ready!
Yuriko. I have a bad feeling about this. What should we do? I'm on it. Rico, I have a bad feeling about this. What should we do? Yeah, let's do it, Rico. Rico. got through. Rico, 
Are you ready to go? What do we do? Of do we I fight it here? I'm on. I just sensed something. Just sense something. What's that? They apparently used them to capture updrafts a long time ago. I hear they've been around for more than 4,000 years. They've done well to last so long. And the fact that we passed them means... So this is the second layer. Is that so? Sure is! Leader, we hold it off! Oh. It hasn't quite hit me yet. Did we really get away from them? Sure did! We don't have to worry about anyone coming after us now! If we descend this far, no one will come after us. Because both getting here and returning home are very difficult. I'm quite sure that's what Shiggy said. In other words, down here, even a search party would find itself being pursued. We haven't escaped at all, have we? Now we're being pursued by all kinds of things that exist outside the world of man. Let's hurry, Rake! They might be going for help! 
Understood. Our destination is Seeker Camp, located at the end of the second layer. Hey, Rico, are you ready to go? <laughs> of course I'm ready! 